Detecting a killer before it's too late. We're talking about coronary artery disease. It is not an illness that you typically associate with a child. But doctors say when teen athletes collapse, it's often the culprit. And in most cases, the first symptom is death. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash introduces us to a teen who got the terrifying diagnosis. If a room was dull, he would always brighten it up. Was there something we could have done? Was there a test that could have been given that would have seen something? It's a parent's worst nightmare, a child collapsing during an athletic event. 15-year-old Xavier Cater died in March during basketball tryouts at Lincoln Park High School. Grand Ledge student Everson Guild collapsed and died at just 14 during a summer football workout last month. Teresa Mouch knows these heartbreaking stories could have been her daughter's. Natalie is heading to Indiana University, a new chapter she doesn't take for granted because of something she went through when she was just 13. It was just overwhelming. I was old enough to know what was going on, but still so young, and it was just, it was so scary. Doctors following up on a heart murmur. So Natalie, this is your ultrasound from back in March of 2013. Discovered she had coronary artery disease. Her mom was stunned. To look at her when she was growing up, you would never think there's anything wrong with her. She had no symptoms, and that's typically how cases like Natalie's go. These patients are at risk for sudden death, um, and usually that's their first symptoms. To better explain the condition, Dr. Tom Kimball drew it for us. Her right coronary artery did not come off the proper location. It came off here mm. and coursed over in this direction. So it ran between two other major vessels. When those vessels pumped more blood, during something like exercise and Natalie played volleyball, they ran the risk of crowding out the artery, which could lead to cardiac arrest. Terrifying, <laughs> yeah. Open heart surgery. If we chose not to do it, it was like a time bomb. Allowed doctors to move the artery where it needed to be. Her prognosis now is excellent. Every day, every day, it's amazing. Getting screened each season before sports begin can increase the chances of finding the disease. Natalie's condition is the second leading cause of high school athletes collapsing on the field. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News.